नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लेट्स ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग आज भौतिका कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ नरेटिव ट्रेडिशंस बिकॉज देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस एंड द मिसकॉन्सेप्शन ऑफ द फिलासफी or the spiritual uh, acquaintance with this human existence as a whole because from the religion point of view if you really see philosophy is not considered as a religion at all let's give that a, a line you know a straight line kind of however what is it that actually like uh, uh, you know that uh, form uh, that forms a part of uh, this one is human cogn- uh, cognition human nature human understanding these three are the pillars for adi bhautika when i talk about human existence it is both prakriti and purusha as a single entity prakriti as single entity purusha as single entity which one needs to understand the point is when i am talking about this uh, philosophical approach uh, from the view point of human cognition or human nature or human understanding this is where the true de- true definition of socio social cultural aesthetics starts the journey of social cultural aesthetics starts from here which one needs to really understand wherein you get into the clutches of maya and mahamaya for good or bad and today in the 21st century the very concept of consciousness and subconsciousness is prevailing to the core they are taking to the next level from the genetical study point of view this human genetics as such is so complex that adi bhautika adhyatmika and adi daivika aspects play a key role and that is what is in cross reference to mantra shastra tantra shastra yantra shastra mantra bheda tantra bheda yantra bheda and this is where natana plus yam and again over here nada upasanas aspect comes into picture because when this human existence never existed what do you think really existed in the nature it's a very it's a biggest question that one needs to ask the sound aspect and this is where nada aspect comes into picture and this is where the philosophy of very narrative tradition starts whether it is saptaswaras or whatever it is and these form the key aspects to adi bhautika aspect 
and that is the reason why if you really see if one hears to music or if one hears to the devotional uh, part of uh, 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 you know devotional uh, uh, part of uh, you know devotional words or you know something which is having that uh, sensitized or the sensitive meaning showing that moral or you know showing that uh, absolute uh, meaning of what exactly this refers to and that is where it directly or indirectly affects your consciousness and subconsciousness this is the beauty of our vedas and upanishads do if we really look at vedas and upanishads are considered to be aparsya reason is have they been you know uh, 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 deciphered of late maybe after uh, fourth uh, second century or first century maybe they may have come up with what you call uh, you know their own perception and their own definitions of what exactly nada or whatever it is swaras akara okara makara and this is where they started defining the very conceptual understanding of what you call narrative tradition if i really go back to uh, indo aryan culture or the vedic uh, vedic culture or you know upanishads uh, aryan culture right i can see that happening there they had that uh, uh, you know panchabhutas uh, being uh, appeased their primary god was what you call uh, uh, sun god srishti nirmata swarg racheta purvaj rakshak a very important point the surya has always been one of the key aspect surya or the sun and chandra and moon from the nada aspect a very important point for the from the research uh, uh, you know point of view if one really looks at it maybe this is my perception i am not giving the conclusive statement about it which one needs to understand forget about the religion or the religious uh, diversification or whatever that has happened i have still not touched upon what you call the main subject of social cultural aesthetics i am still talking about the base level study of the adi bautika and very importantly actions actions are the fundamentals of philosophy which actions or what actions are we talking about over here these are the religious practices or the austerities which one needs to understand however karma siddhanta papa punya aspects they always existed they will exist nevertheless that's not a denying point or the denial point at all over here which one needs to understand and 
that is the reason why if you really see in the yoga practice they talk about the samadhi samadhi state that is what is called sama plus adhi samadhi sama is you know having that uh, balanced state adhi is the state where you are trying to reach to that level understand this this is a very vital point and this is where the yoga's definition also started and that is the reason why adi bhautika has to be understood from a deeper level it's not a denying point or it's not a denying aspect at all ladies and gentlemen scholars give it a thought now if we are able to understand this sama plus adhi samadhi state at a deeper level the very core definition of uh, consciousness and subconsciousness would be more easier for uh, modern day scientists or the medical scientists or the scientists who are sending uh, uh, rockets or whatever it is and this is the beauty of natana plus yam natyam aspect wherein you are showing that narrative traditions when i say narrative traditions you are narrating the story in a order where you are getting that moral that is a point which i want to talk about understand this savikalpa samadhi nirvikalpa samadhi kalpa samadhi adhi state these four are common in any case because this human existent itself human existence itself from the adi bhautika point of view has that relevance but as the years or centuries passed by maybe there could be like you know uh, scholars or modern day scholars or modern day scientists or uh, uh, modern day medical practitioners have had defined that from their own perspective again it's a very important point ladies and gentlemen of course one may say why are you talking about the whole of this when adi bhautika is all about savikalpa samadhi nirvikalpa nirvikalpa samadhi vikalpa samadhi kalpa samadhi samadhi state wherein the narrative uh, tradition would not be there it's a oral tradition but for a narrative tradition to start with one needs to go through this first need to understand this however adi bhautika subject as a whole is a very bigger subject as a whole from a wider sense wider sense and wider point think about it ladies and gentlemen thus i conclude this video stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all
have a nice day ahead. Srimatri. Think about it.